my hair and I am stupid. Hey what's up guys it's Emma here and today I will be doing a story time with you guys. So I went to Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp. These stories are nothing like a bad infliction on them or whatever. They're actually not that bad. It was a great camp. I learned a lot and it was super fun and I met so many new people there and I was pretty excited to go to this camp. And so I thought today I would tell you guys a few stories and whatever from my Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp experience. So let's get on with the stories. Also, I would like to thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. I was on vacation when that hit and I was like, oh my gosh, 50 subscribers, 50 people actually care about me and my content. So thank you guys so much for supporting me all the way to 50 subscribers. So these are all going to be stories of my first year at camp, which was in 2014, session three. So yeah, if any of you guys watching, hi. Okay, so the first story I'm gonna tell is kind of a back up, it kind of backs the other stories a little bit, and it also goes into my second year of camp. My room is an absolute pigsty, I just realized that. I should probably tidy it up, but I mean, you guys can't see because you're, I'm just against the closet door wall, so yeah. So the first, first story I'm going to tell is about a guy, let's call him Vic, because I like Vic. So this Vic character was, I met him kind of on the first day of camp during auditions because he played the same instrument as me. I don't really remember much from the first day. And then progressively, I became friends with this Vic character, I guess. And of course, if you ever talk about a guy at camp, everyone thinks you love him. So, you know, why do I look like a carrot? So I'm sitting over here like, oh yeah, I got this friend, his name is Vic. And people are like, oh, who is Vic? Oh, do you like him? Like, I legit didn't even like, like him at the time. I told my friend, or one of my friends, she's last chair flute, and then I was second chair oboe, and he was like, Vic was like, first chair oboe. So I was like, okay, let's call this girl Victoria. So Victoria is like, oh, she like became like my best friend at camp, basically. And she was like, oh yeah, you and Vic or whatever. And so she kind of like teased me about it a little bit. And eventually she told my other friends, let's call them Tana, Rachel, Lily, Keely, and Paige. So then she's telling all of them. And so they have this whole elaborate plan to start planning my wedding. Like, excuse me. I'm walking back from rehearsal one day, and they're like, oh my god, we should plan Emma and Vic's wedding. And I'm just like, excuse me? <laughs> what? What? At 13? What? I'm just sitting over here like, you go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna leave and go get some ice cream. So there's also a camp dance at Blue Lake, and so my friends all, all like, ooh, we should get Emma with Vic, make him ask her out or something. So they had this whole plan to figure out who he likes, by like befriending his friends. Great. This is great. Really great. Please go away. And he did not ask me out to the dance. I did not ask him because I was a wimp. I am a wimp actually. So I like basically avoid him the entire dance. So that's the story of Vic. Another story from camp. Okay, so it was like a nice kind of calm day. I think it was, I think it might have been Sunday where we didn't have a minor. Because on Sundays, it was like, you get to wake up an hour later, you only, you only have one rehearsal for your major, you don't have that much going on. I'm with a majority of my cabin mates, because we were all like really good friends and whatever, and so we decided we would get a bunch of food and go down to the lake and have a picnic. During this, we are thinking of like things to do during the picnic, and someone brought up the idea of jumping out the window. This is like in a national forest, and of course there's like bugs and stuff. And so someone's like, oh, we should go jump out the window. And of course, me being the stupid 13 year old self was like, ha, huh, that sounds like a great idea. I should totally jump out the window. Wait, I was 12 at this time. I'm going, everyone else leaves out the front door and goes to the picnic. And then me, um, Tana, and Lily, I guess. Well, I don't know who these people are, honestly. I'm just listening to random names. I have the names in my head. But I'm just giving these people random names. So me, Tana, and Lily are like, okay, so how do we get out the window? Lily managed to open the window, like, all the way, including the screen. Because we open them at night, but not the screen. So she manages, like, to open up the screen or whatever. 
So we gotta jump out this window without being noticed by all the counselors standing all around us. Because there's like, in a unit, there's six cabins. And there's all these counselors like wandering around. And there's a cab and there's a unit behind us. And all these counselors and whatever. And there's like a parking lot there. And people are like going in and out of their cars on the Sunday. I get on top of the bed that's near the window. And it climbed down and just jump, kind of jump out the window. And then I fell. I didn't get really hurt. But it was just funny because we were like stupid 12 year olds. And just jumping out windows seemed so much fun to us. And then a counselor like kind of walks near the side of our cabin and we're just like oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot so we had to like run the other way we almost got caught by a counselor jumping out the window so that's it for blue leg year one's stories if you guys want to hear year two stories then please be sure to tell me i would love to do it again um if you like this please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to me to see more content like this and i hope you guys have a fabulous day bye this is a terrible story i need to like figure out who's who because I don't even know who's who. <laughs>